what did your parents think when you, after your Harvard education, you moved to New York, you didn't tell them about the belt, <laughs> but you wanted to go into fashion? Did they think that was great, or did they wonder what you were doing? I think over time, I redefined for them what success was going to be for me. And I think the, the sort of the biggest mistake I made, no, no regrets, but the biggest mistake I made was not explaining to them what, what were the measures of success for my field. You know, I, I would get very frustrated and, and expect them to understand what, what was successful for me or what was successful in magazines or what was successful in writing or what was successful <clears throat> in fashion. And there's no way they would have known that. Now, looking back, there were, there were moments where things that I accomplished resonated in their world, right? So I would freelance write on the side to make money to buy a Prada belt. <laughs> and I wrote a story for the Fortune 500 issue, right? And all the things I was accomplishing, this they were really excited about because they, they understood Fortune magazine, right? And my parents were like, you're in the New York Times, right? At this point, I had run another magazine that was now defunct. But, um, you know, they were so excited because it was the New York Times. And the onus is on you to explain to them what it is, what your, what your track is very, very specifically and how narrow it is and what are those measures for success and how you're getting there and how you achieve that milestone and what the next thing is.